Breaking a spoke on a Brompton is quite rare. Uh, there's sturdy little wheels, and to be honest, uh, it's something that I never had to deal with uh, while on a tour. I do take care though before I leave, in the sense that I always take the bike in for service and I ensure that the wheels uh, are perfectly true. Still, this is something that can happen, and uh, like a broken chain, should the rim come out of true, it is something that could stop you from continuing. Uh, because of this, my advice uh, is to follow two main points. First, is to carry some spare spokes with you, some for the rear wheel and some for the front, as they come in different sizes. Even if you're not able to repair them yourself, uh, when you reach a bike shop to fix it, uh, unless you're lucky to find a Brompton dealer, for example, uh, chances are that they don't stock the right sizes to fit your wheels. The second point uh, is, if you get a chance, it's even better to practice and learn how you can fix this by yourself, as it is not as hard as you might think. If you can get hold of a spare wheel, for example, maybe an old wheel you're not using anymore, it can be the perfect way to use it. So let me just uh, show you how this is done. Now, breaking a spoke usually always happens in the rear wheel, uh, which is a pain because the rear wheel is uh, much more difficult to fix uh, than the front wheel. Uh, the front wheel, as you can see, the spokes are just uh, open, so they can be removed uh, without having to, you know, to dismantle the wheel or doing anything else. The difference with the rear wheel is that we have the cassette. So usually, um, if you're lucky and you break a spoke on this side, then you will be able, without removing anything, to fix it. Uh, but Murphy's Law says that probably you will break uh, a spoke on this side. And if you do, you know, you're not able really to reach uh, inside. So what you'll need to do, you need to remove uh, the cassette. The good news with the Brompton wheel is that, unlike uh, most other bikes, uh, removing the cassette, uh, which allows you to fix the spoke on this side, uh, it is really easy. Uh, with normal, most uh, other bikes, you need to carry very heavy tools, like a chain whip, um, and removing the cassette uh, is not something easy. A Brompton uh, only uses a small metal ring, which uh, I hope you can see, just sits just behind uh, this little wheel here. And uh, all we need to do is remove this little ring and then we'll be able to remove the cassette. And um, let me just show you how this is done. So we can do this with a tool like this, it's or just a simple screwdriver would work. And all you need to do is just to go inside uh, one of these parts where there is a space and just kind of pry it open. There we go. And once this is removed, now we're able to remove everything. Make sure you keep everything on the same side. Then we remove this part. And now we can have access to the broken spokes. As an example, uh, I use an old wheel that I have. I don't want to mess up uh, my new one, which is uh, well true. Um, this is a front, a front wheel. But as you've seen, once you've removed uh, the sprockets, you will have access to the spokes. So beyond being different length sizes, the process is the same. So the spoke, uh, you know, could break in different parts. Of course, it could break uh, here. Uh, towards the hub or in the middle or at the end so wherever it is broken you know you will need to remove it so you need one of this uh, spoke wrench key uh, available and you need to have the size that fits the spoke so when you purchase it make sure that it's the right size and then you just slide it inside the spoke and just push it up and then you're able to just turn it Almost there. So 
So after we've used the spoke wrench and it's almost out, we will need to remove the nipple from this side. So what you do, you just uh, lift the, the, the rim tape and just put it away on the side. And there now we can see the nipple. And it's almost loose, but it just needs a little bit more turning. And a good way to remove it is by using uh, a spare spoke because this threads inside the top here. And so by just putting it in there, you'll be able to turn it until it's completely loose. There we go. So once we've removed the, the nipple, you know, the spoke will be, will be loose and then it can, be, it can be removed from this side. We just put uh, our new spoke inside in the same way. And then we, we just uh, move it inside the hole. You'll, you'll need a little bit to bend it. Next, in order again to easily put the nipple in, it's easy to just thread it on the spoke. Could be a spare spoke uh, or the broken one if the thread part is still intact. And once it is there, you can just thread it through the new spoke. Once the nipple is uh, threaded at the beginning of the spoke, uh, it's probably easier again with a screwdriver. You can just uh, turn it in. And so now all we need to do is just to go back to the uh, spoke wrench. And just uh, fix it. So once we fix the spoke, we just reverse uh, the process. So we just put the plastic through. Then put the larger cog, like so. Next, we have a spacer. Then the smaller goes on top. And finally, we just put back the ring. So again, uh, you know, you'll need maybe a screwdriver to help you with this. So if you just put it on, on one side and then kind of move it in. So keep it pressed down with one finger and then try and slide it in. After you fix the spoke, there comes the time to throw the wheel. And uh, this is an art in itself, and it's something that I'm not really capable to do myself. So what I would normally do is just to check the tension on the other spokes and try to replicate it. And this should usually be enough to have a wheel that is good enough uh, to allow you to continue and uh, hopefully you know, reach a professional mechanic that will be able to check it and throw your wheel perfectly. I hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, if you have, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos entirely dedicated on Brompton folding bikes. Bye for now.